This is Travel Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, we present you with another incredible destination. Today, we're looking at 15 Things You Didn't Know About Scotland. Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get informed. Hello, Alaxers, and welcome back to our channel. I hope you're ready to don a kilt and wander the highlands, because today we're talking about Scotland. As we've all seen in Braveheart or train spotting, we know the unique accent, the amazing landscapes, the alcohol, and the history already. Scotland is on the verge of potentially becoming an independent nation with a population of a little over 5.4 million citizens and some historical facts to keep you awake for days. In the light of Brexit and other events, Scotland has a chance of gaining more and more popularity because if it weren't for them, a lot of modern things wouldn't have come to be, such as the modern telephone, speedos, raincoats, whiskey or color photography. But you guys know we always try to find the most luxurious experiences and ludicrous facts. So let's dig in and see another side of Scotland not everyone knows about. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Number 1. James Bond and Sherlock Holmes are of Scottish descent. A lot of people confuse Scotland and Ireland with England. They're all in the same region, all speaking the same language, and have a lot of things in common, but they also are different and unique. You might think that because TV portrayed Sherlock Holmes and James Bond in a certain way that they're British, but in fact, the two are of Scottish descent. Sherlock Holmes was written by a Scottish author, and James Bond has a Scottish background. These details are emphasized in the books, and somehow the producers forgot to mention them, and now everyone thinks these two heroes heroes are true Londoners, when in fact they are Scottish. Number 2. Golf and curling were invented in Scotland Golf is a sport played by rich people all over the world, but since it's so popular in America, Sweden or Australia, people don't actually know that it was invented in Scotland back in the 15th century. Another sport invented in Scotland is curling, a mix between hockey, golf, and shuffleboard. You guys might not have heard about it because it's more popular in the UK and Canada, but just like golf, it was born in amazing Scotland and made it to the Winter Olympic Games. Other sports originating from Scotland are lacrosse, high jump, or hammer throw. Number 3. The most expensive scotch is worth $6.2 million. Scotland is famous for their whiskey and scotch production. There are a lot of well-known brands that have history behind them, so if you go to Scotland, you know you'll be drinking the finest scotch and possibly the most expensive. One of the most expensive scotch whiskies in the world that you can drink is the Macallan M Scotch Whiskey that retails for over $628,200 per bottle. The most expensive bottle of whiskey is in fact made by a British company called Isabella Islay Whiskey Original, and it costs $6.2 million. As you may have guessed, the bottle is decorated with 8,500 diamonds and 300 rubies. Number 4. Dolly the Sheep was Scottish. One of the breaking points of science was a few years ago when a group of professors and scientists from the University of Edinburgh successfully cloned a mammal. They cloned a sheep and named her Dolly, who's now the most famous sheep in the world. Dolly was the daughter of three mothers because they used one sheep for the DNA, one for the egg, and one to carry the embryo. She lived only six years and had offspring, but for scientists, she was the pioneer for the greatest success, and we bet Scottish people are beyond prideful for this achievement. Number 5. The richest man in Scotland is Glenn Gordon with a net worth of $2.5 billion. There aren't too many billionaires in Scotland, only 11, and you can guess they are all involved in the whiskey industry. The richest person in Scotland is Glen Gordon and his family that's been running the William Grant & Sons Distillery in Banffshire. He has a net worth of $2.5 billion and owns the Scotch whiskey labels Grant's, Glenfiddich and the Balvenie, as well as Hendrick's Gin. And a fun fact. A scotch has to be distilled in Scotland to be named a scotch whiskey, so they are definitely dominating the market. Number 6. 
Donald Trump may be laundering money through Scotland properties. President Donald Trump is one of the most talked about presidents in the world. Every week something else seems to come up and we find ourselves talking about him all the time. Since he has a background in business, he may not be as clean as he claims to be. He spent almost $250 million on rehabilitating a golf club back in 2014. It seems that every time he buys something, he makes a new legal entity to manage it. Just for the helicopter he owns in Scotland, he made a new entity that is under 14 other entities, which make it very hard to investigate. This acquisition may be linked to his Russian business and the election, but there's not enough evidence for that yet. Number 7. Catholic priests in Scotland are out of control when it comes to child abuse. Unfortunately, the most disturbing thing that still happens in most Catholic churches is child abuse and rape. The 1980s and 90s were out of control, as some claim, because the church turned a blind eye to all of the abuses. Since then, a lot of other cases have been brought to light, but nothing ever happens to the abusers. Some hope that their cases will end up on a judge's table and get justice because the Scottish cardinals are defending themselves and covering up their institution. Number 8. Robert David Lang was Scotland's most famous and controversial psychiatrist. In the psychiatric world, there are other famous people, not just Freud. One of them was R.D. Lang, the most famous and talked about psychiatrist in the 1960s. He wrote books, he befriended celebrities and rock stars, and tried to promote LSD for stress. His life and career will be turned into a movie called Mad to be Normal, and he'll be played by a Scottish actor. Unfortunately, as years went by, his career began to fall apart and his theories dismantled. Furthermore, his views and practices are no longer accepted by modern psychiatrists. Number 9. They have a chili capital city. Chilies are one of the most famous spices. They make everything a little more intense, more colorful, and of course, more spicy. They are originally from Latin America, Mexico, and some parts of Asia, but with globalization, they are now grown all over the world, even in Scotland. Mark Hodgson loves chili so much, he managed to turn his city into Scotland's capital of chili. He now grows along with other people all sorts of chilies and help to boost tourism in the area. Mark hopes that soon everyone will start growing chilies at home and establish a chili festival. Number 10. The most expensive Scottish house ever sold went for $32.8 million. Up until recently, the most expensive house in Scotland was for sale. The huge and posh estate, which is in fact a 22,000-acre property with a beautiful castle, has sold to a Russian billionaire for $25 million. Tulchan Estate is a massive sporting estate with fishing facilities, a farm, a distillery, and a private club for exclusive members. The castle used to have royal guests, like King Edward VII or King George V, who all loved and appreciated the beautiful setting, extraordinary hospitality, and sporting pursuits of one of the leading Scottish estates. Feeling a little bit royal, Alexers? Why not head over to our video about Queen Elizabeth II of England to find out more about her life as a monarch at 90 years old? Just click in the top right corner to check it out. Number 11. Chicken Tikka Masala Was Invented in Glasgow Because India used to be a British colony, a lot of Indians have moved to England over the years, opening Indian restaurants and influencing the modern British culture. Although Indian menus have a variety of tikka masala dishes, they are not originally from India. Rumor has it that chicken tikka masala originates from Scotland. Some say it originates from Bangladesh or Pakistan, but most sources debate between the UK and India. Looks like Scotland has a hand in a lot of things we know and love on a daily basis. Number 12. The first international football match was played in Scotland. Another first we have to credit Scotland for is the first official international football or soccer game. The sport originates from ancient Chinese and Greek times, but with all the rules and teams as we know it today, comes from England. 
Because playing against other countries wasn't popular, the first game between two nations was held in Scotland, and it was between Scotland and England back in 1872. Fast forward to present day, and these two countries are still madly in love with football and have the most loyal fans. Number 13. You can sail in style and visit Scotland's islands. Even though Scotland is a small country, they also have more than 790 islands you can visit if you feel adventurous. The best way to do that is by cruising them. There are a few yachts and ships that offer this service in the most luxurious setting for this activity. One of them is the Hebridean Princess, which has a reputation for its delicious food, wine, and crew of 38 to serve the 50 guests on board. They offer private suites and rooms with ensuite bathrooms, starting from 4,300 pounds. This starting price is for a six to seven night trip, includes two gala dinners, and of course, the added feeling that you're a lord or lady for the entire trip. Number 14. Their national animal is a unicorn. Most countries have a national animal or a national flower depending on which one is more common and relevant for them. Scotland is a Catholic country with a lot of history, so you might expect something strong as a national symbol. However, they chose a unicorn. Some say it's because it used to be the enemy of the lion, which is the symbol of England, with whom they fought for decades. The unicorn has a lot of meanings and symbols, and they all tie in with Scotland's history to a T. Although unicorns might not be real, they still stand strong with their decision. Number 15. They have a national elephant polo team. If you thought that polo on a horse was uncomfortable, then try playing it on an elephant. This type of polo is more familiar in Asia, where elephants are more common, but that doesn't mean that other countries can't enjoy it too. In fact, Scotland has the best team of elephant polo players. They're so good they beat Nepal's national team. It's an international sport played by both women and men. Scotland's team is very competitive and takes great pride in playing and winning this competition. The team is captained by the Duke of Argyle, because who else would play such an extravagant sport? As you can see, Alexers, there's a reason why England doesn't want to let Scotland go. They basically made the world a better place and make for great film sets and even better actors. Besides all the crazy national animals, sports, and whiskey, Scotland's identity has a humor like no other. Do you agree? Let us know in the comments below. And for sticking with us all the way to the end and being a true Alexer, of course, you get a bonus. Here it is. Number 16. 14% of Scottish people are redhead, and over 40% carry the gene. Redheads are a rarity. Less than 2% of the world is redhead, mostly found in Northern and Western Europe and less in America and Asia. Out of all countries, Scotland is the only country with almost 14% of their population to be redheaded. And if that wasn't enough, almost 40% of Scottish people carry the redhead gene. So if you've got it, flaunt it. And if you want to see more redheads, then go to the motherland of gingers, good old Scotland. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.